Okay, so during my time here at Centenary, I've been involved in a lot of different types of community service projects. Right now, my biggest one is with the Food Recovery Network. I'm the president of that organization, and we take all the excess cafeteria food and we bring it to things off of campus that distribute it into the community. So right now we're working with Shreveport Bossier uh, Rescue Mission, and so we take all the food and they bring it to them and they kind of distribute it to people who need it. Um, I've also been involved with the chemistry club, so we do some community outreach with that. Um, also, Chi Omega, there's the philanthropy that we work on as well, you know, for Wake-A-Wish. Um, so we've got that big thing going on. And then also uh, the Christian Leadership Center here, CLC. So we do some community outreach with that. We went off campus and helped at the Knoll Food Bank for one night during class. And so I always enjoy doing those types of things. Uh, yeah, so I've just, just a lot of little types of projects around campus that I've been able to help out with. So managing both athletics and being a student at the same time is pretty difficult, especially because I'm trying to finish in three years and I'm doing chemistry as a major. So time management is like really essential and sometimes it gets really difficult, especially in the middle of the season when you have swim meets, especially travel meets. Um, but it's really helped to have a lot of um, other teammates that are pretty studious on the team as well and be able to be like, hey coach, sometimes like I'm gonna, I'll be here at practice, but I might have to spend half the time on the deck doing homework and still like be here to cheer on the team. Um, so really I've been able to improve my time management a ton, um, but yeah. Okay, so some of the things that made me want to attend Centenary was swimming, of course, because I always have really enjoyed swimming. Um, and I wasn't necessarily fast enough to go D2 or D1, but I really wanted to continue in the sport. And I always feel better when I'm swimming. So like outside of practice, it helps like my mental state and concentration on school. So that was an aspect I was looking at when I was choosing a college. Um, other aspects were, I really wanted a small school that I could be at and it would help me grow uh, physically, spiritually, and mentally. And so be, being able to come here and see the community and all the different organizations on campus, I had a really good feeling that I'd be able to get all those aspects at Centenary. There's, there's a lot of overlap, I think, with the skills needed for swimming and for academics, with the time management especially. Um, but then also, a thing that I've been able to, ve to develop here, based like mainly in the pool that's helped me outside of the pool, is being able to just kind of put everything else out of like thought and being able to focus just on the task at hand. Especially this year, because of all the crazy classes I'm taking, they've been really difficult. And so being able to come to practice and just being able to take like an emotional mental break from all of that and being able to just focus like completely on swimming, I think that has also translated over into school. And then also the, I mean, vice versa type of thing too. Me being featured for the Character and Community Award really just shows that being able to help out on campus like does stuff for the community. And I think it's a really good way to show other students and other athletes that all of their time is really valuable. Like I know for me, it's, it's been difficult trying to balance everything. And so it was really, really rewarding for me to be able to notice and be noticed that like all of the work that I've been doing. Um, so I think just in general for other athletes as well, I think it's a really nice thing for them to be able to like just be noticed for not just the, not just the athletics, but other things as well.